Ancient civilizations weren't as primitive as we think. Some of their inventions still leave modern engineers scratching their heads. Let's begin with an ancient, yet accurate, pregnancy test. In ancient Egypt, women didn't need a doctor or a plastic stick to find out if they were pregnant. Instead, they peed on barley and wheat seeds. If the barley sprouted, it was a boy. If the wheat sprouted, a girl. If nothing grew, not pregnant, it sounds like a myth. But 20th century studies confirmed this test had up to 70% accuracy. Why? The estrogen in urine promotes seed germination. That means ancient Egyptians were unknowingly tapping into biochemistry thousands of years before microscopes or hormones were understood. And while the Egyptians were exploring biology, the Greeks were pioneering precision engineering far ahead of their time. Catastibius Water Clock Ancient Precision Engineering Catastibius, an inventor from Alexandria, wasn't content with basic sundials. Around 250 BCE, he engineered a water clock so advanced it could track minutes, not just hours. Using a system of gears, floats, siphons, and a regulated flow of water, this device showed remarkable accuracy for its time. It even had moving indicators and could ring alarms. Modern horologists still admire the brilliance of this time-tracking masterpiece. It was the grandfather of mechanical clocks. But when it comes to ancient mysteries, few artifacts puzzle scientists as much as this next disc from the Bronze Age. The Phaistos Disc Discovered on the island of Crete in 1908, this clay disc is covered in a spiral of 241 mysterious symbols. What's fascinating is how they were made. Not carved, but stamped with precision, like an early version of printing. That's right. While Gutenberg's press is credited to the 1400s, this disc suggests someone was experimenting with movable type over 3,000 years earlier. What does it say? No one knows. It's still undeciphered, making it one of history's most intriguing puzzles. And if you think that's mind-blowing, wait till you hear about the world's first analog computer found deep in the sea. The Antikythera Mechanism, the first computer, Pulled from a sunken Greek ship in 1901, the Antikythera mechanism stunned the world. Inside a corroded bronze case was a network of 30-plus interlocking gears, each handcrafted to predict eclipses, moon phases, and planetary positions, all with incredible accuracy. Dated to around 100 BCE, it's often called the world's first analog computer. Today's engineers and historians are still decoding how much advanced knowledge existed in an era without telescopes or electricity. If you're enjoying the video, be sure to subscribe to Tech Grail now. Speaking of wonders, some ancient medical practices were shockingly ahead of their time, like this next one. Trepanation, the oldest brain surgery that worked. Imagine living 7,000 years ago with a splitting headache, seizures, or head trauma. Your doctor's solution? Drill a hole into your skull. As terrifying as it sounds, trepanation wasn't just ritual. It worked. Archaeological finds show healed skulls, meaning patients survived. Using stone tools, ancient surgeons relieved pressure or treated head injuries in what might be the earliest form of neurosurgery. It's brutal but undeniably brilliant. While ancient doctors worked with skulls, ancient Chinese inventors were busy detecting earthquakes without a single electronic sensor. Zhang Hang's Seismoscope Earthquake Detector of 132 AD In 2nd century China, inventor Zhang Hang built what might be the first seismograph. Picture this, a bronze urn with eight dragon heads, each holding a small ball. When an earthquake struck, even hundreds of miles away, one dragon's mouth would open, dropping its ball into the mouth of a bronze toad below, indicating the direction of the tremor. And it worked. Historical records confirm it detected earthquakes no one even felt. No sensors, no electricity, just pure mechanical genius. But mechanical genius wasn't limited to peaceful inventions. Some tech was designed for war, and it was terrifying. Greek fire the Byzantine superweapon. Forget flamethrowers, the Byzantine Empire had something more terrifying. 
Greek fire. This chemical concoction, hurled from ships or projected through pressurized nozzles, could ignite on water and was nearly impossible to extinguish. The exact formula? Lost to time. But its impact was legendary. An early example of chemical warfare that protected an empire for centuries. And while that fire burned hot, another ancient secret lies in substance that could endure for millennia. Roman concrete. Roman concrete. The unbreakable formula. Why do modern bridges crack after 50 years, while Roman aqueducts and harbors stand tall after 2000? Their secret lay in a unique concrete mix. Volcanic ash, lime, and seawater. When exposed to salt water, it actually strengthened over time thanks to a mineral called aluminum tobermorite. This made Roman concrete not just durable, but self-healing. Modern engineers are studying it intensely, hoping to rediscover the formula and revolutionize construction. Now, let's rewind time and check out how the ancients woke up, long before alarm apps and snooze buttons. Ancient Alarm Clocks – Plato's Water Wake-Up Call We all know Plato for philosophy, but did you know he also designed a water-powered alarm clock? It worked by slowly filling a vessel until air pressure forced a whistle to sound a literal wake-up call for his students. Later, Ketasebius enhanced it with gears and bells, creating a ringing water clock that functioned like an ancient mechanical timer. Turns out, even in antiquity, people needed help getting out of bed. Next in the list is Persian Yuckles, ancient refrigerators. In Persia's deserts, keeping food cold is tough, until the yakel. These insulated cone-shaped pits used heat-reflecting materials to store ice and food through scorching summers. They harnessed evaporation, airflow, and thick mud walls to stay cool. No electricity needed. Some still stand today. Type 100% if you watch the whole video. Ancient minds were incredibly advanced. Their genius still inspires modern tech. Subscribe now and join us on the next deep dive into the world of incredible technologies.